my garden bees. Today I will be planting one of the last and largest rounds of seeds and I thought I would share a bit about my journey into learning to garden and where that seed was planted for the potential to love gardening. Most of the seeds I am starting today will not go out until after the last frost date, which for me is not until June 1st. This year, my growing season is roughly 102 days. That's most of the reason for why I like to start seeds, because it helps me to extend my growing season a bit. The other reason is when your growing season is so short and you are excited to start gardening, it helps kick that urge to just plant in the snow which I'm sure all of us have felt. Anyways, in total, I have 32 varieties of seeds to start today. I am about one week behind schedule, but that's okay. Last year's killing everything and most coming back with a vengeance has me confident that I will still have success. So last year was my first real year gardening. In a house we rented before moving to this forever home, I did clean up the garden beds and planted a bit of flowers. Most of those died because I was working five to six days a week and averaged about 50 to 55 hours a week. So I am not counting that as my first garden. However, working in those beds at that house did help me to realize that I enjoyed being outside on warmer days, but mostly that it gave me a reason to be outside. It is very easy to fall into a habit where you stay inside on your days off no matter how pretty it is outside. For me, because I had no reason to be outside, I had nothing to do outside, so why go outside was what I would always tell myself. When we decided to move out here, I knew that I wanted to start gardening, mainly so I would have a reason to be outside. With a house that's only 900 square feet and a really large property, I knew I would want to spend more of my time outside than I would inside. And I also wanted to try growing my family's food. When I was younger, my grams always had a beautiful garden, like the kind you see on HGTV, layered, always something in bloom and just a magical landscape. I did not appreciate it when I was younger. See, we lived in Florida and our house was in front of a large water reservoir. We always had snakes. I personally feel like they were everywhere in our yard. I'm sure my grams and mom would disagree, but I ran through the backyard once and did not realize I jumped over a water moccasin. Luckily, my sister one night ran across the lawn to my grandma's house and I walked on the sidewalk. By the time I got to the other side, a baby water moccasin was right where I needed to walk. Then we looked in the grass where my sister had just ran across and there was a large mama water moccasin. And yet another time, my sister and I were playing outside and the next thing I know, my mom is out the door yelling at us to run forward. I guess there was a large diamond back just behind us. Not sure how we got so lucky that my mom came out at that time to check on us because my sister and I were walking backwards towards the snake. There were many more times that we had run-ins with water moccasins, diamondbacks, blue racers, and many more. So much so that I hated being in the backyard alone. And I would cry so hard when I was forced to help clean out the garden beds in the spring. I was very afraid of getting attacked by a snake. My grand would just reach into her garden beds to pull weeds and whatnot. Brave woman. <laughs> but still, she loved her garden. And to this day, still tries to garden as much as her body will allow her to. She always told my sister and I that the garden is where she felt closest to God and and that's where she was able to talk to God. I guess she unknowingly to both her and I planted a seed for the future me to want to garden. I am happy I have that seed that has started to blossom into a love for growing things, both beautiful and edible. Hopefully I can create an area half as remarkable as my Graham's backyard. Who or what inspired you to plant your first veggie or flower? I would love to know. Share below in the comments or head over to Northern Bee North on Instagram and let me know there. Until next time, I hope you get to grow and do something you love.